Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool mono phone and this is Holly's equipment from California. Now there is a note with this telephone it's talking about how pretty much everything works, but the bell does not ring. So we want to look at that issue. And since this is the initial checkout, we want to kind of go through the telephone. Now somebody has installed a cloth line cord and it's updated. So basically it will plug into any modern day jack. And we want to get a look at this telephone. It's in very good condition for its age. And it's a cool telephone in the Art Deco style. We'll set this to the side. We want to give you a look at the telephone itself. We have uh, the cover loose. We do not have a dial center card. And Holly was asking about a dial center card. We want to show you the bottom of the telephone and we're going to do something to the period for the dial center card now on these monophones the card is a sticker and that's the way it's always been uh, on the western electrics the card would tuck up underneath the finger wheel but uh, on the monophones they were always stickers we want to give you a look at the inside of the telephone. This phone is in very good condition. Now we do want to go through the rotary. We've noticed that the rotary is pretty sluggish and we'll give you a look at that. We can get a better return on that. So we'll go through that oil clean and adjust it. This shows you the inside. If you've never seen the inside of one of these units. We also want to show you something else that's pretty cool. This telephone actually has its original schematic. Give you a look at the bell situation here. Pretty cool. We're going to go through the bell, the solenoids, the wiring. We want to make sure the bell circuit is proper and then any adjustment to the bell that we need to make. We also need to make sure that the solenoids are good. Here's the original schematic. I want to give you a look at that. It's pretty brittle so I want to be careful with it. It's cool to see these telephones come in with this original schematic like this. And it was pretty common practice on these monophones that they would uh, put a schematic inside the base area and then they would glue either the whole schematic down or just part of it like this one. And if you try to peel it up with this age on it that it has now, it'll just flake away. So we want to get a start on this telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this unit. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of working on this telephone and we've been through the rotary. This has been oiled, cleaned and adjusted. It has a much smoother return now. We're also working on the bell. That situation has been resolved. And so now what we want to do is a test. And we're going to use the analyzer and ring the unit. And we'll go ahead and show you the telephone ringing. We'll let that go a few times.
I'll let it go one more time and we'll stop the ring cycle. Okay. Now that we know that the bell issue has been resolved and the rotary has been taken care of, we want to uh, do some other checking on the telephone just to make sure everything is proper. We also need to install our dial center card. And then uh, we'll come back and get some more video of the final checkout. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we are finished up with a repair of this telephone. And we're ready to start our final checks. Now we have our amplified pickup taped to the receiver of this telephone and that's so you can hear the audio when we make our calls on our final checkout. We want to ring this unit and we're going to go ahead and use the analyzer and ring the telephone but we're going to let it ring a few times because that was one of the issues. I'm going to let it ring one more time and we'll turn on the amplifier and we'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. You can see the return on the rotary is much smoother and quicker. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has transmit and receive. We can go ahead and push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we can go ahead and call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and turn the amplifier on and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Okay, we can hang up. We can make one other call. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Go ahead and hang up the unit turn off our amplifier. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Holly and they can enjoy this telephone. It's a really cool monophone and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 two three five six nine five nine thank you for watching and have a great day